Welcome back to Fernanda's Treasures, guys. And if you see us wearing the same outfits, we've been filming a bunch of videos today. And so now we're sitting here, we're having dinner, and we decided to film this video. And we, we decided to turn it into a mukbang uh, questions video. And so I made a shrimp boil here. As you can see, we have Fire. corn, shrimp, sausage, white rice. We have everything not here. Not boiling crab. It's not oh, boiling no. crab. Better than boiling crab. It's better than boiling crab because I made it. And we just filmed a Cantaritos video. And so I'm drinking my Cantaritos. He's drinking a beer. Pacifico, not just a beer, Pacifico. And so our daughters are there. They're our audience and they're eating dinner, but we decided to turn this into a mukbang and they're going to be asking us questions. We have some questions that we wrote down there. They're going to be asking us questions. If you're new to our channel and you don't know who we are, you should watch more of our videos and you'll find out. No, I'm just kidding. My name is Martha. This is my husband, Javier. Javi. We have Javi and we have four daughters. And today we're going to be answering questions about our relationship or about our marriage. I don't know. The girls are going to be asking the questions and we're going to be eating as we answer these questions, right? Yes, sir. What do you have to say? <laughs> Len, I don't know what the questions are about, so uh, I'm going to be straight honest, 100%. So whatever is asked, I will respond. Why do you say yes, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, my daughter's are eating on the back in the background, but uh, I mean... How better to not answer some questions with this bomb food, mm -hmm. some good drinks. I mean, shout out to my wife for uh, for all the love. Stay tuned for this Cantarito recipe because, yes. oh my God, I can drink this Fire. whole pot by myself. It's so good. No, she really is drinking it by herself. I really and am. And when she it. says pot, this is what she means. She's drinking this whole thing by herself. It's so good, guys. I can't stop. All right. So if you're here to find out and be chismosos and find out more about our relationship and watch us eat, let's get started with this video. Yes. Go ahead. Take it away, Johnny Canales. <laughs> Johnny Canales. I don't know, he's a, he's a legend from Texas. Uh, you could eat now, babe. <laughs> I was making eating. him stop eating. Okay, how long have you guys been together? Wow. Go ahead. You answer that. <laughs> We've been together for, believe it or not, over two decades. So, 22 years. Mm -hmm. right? mm. Yeah, because I have I have a daughter who's... Um, going to be 21 this year? Going to be 21. So, yeah, about 22 and a half years. I was 16 when we first got together and we started going out. But we were young and immature and we kept breaking up and things kept happening but then we for sure stayed together when i was 18 and i got pregnant and that's when we moved in together and we stayed together ever since then yeah. and we've been living together ever since i was 18 and i was pregnant mm -hmm. and our daughter is 20. Yeah. 20 years old mm -hmm. Isn't it I took her out the hood <laughs> <laughs> i was a church girl guys and i was a rebel you know unfortunately um uh I moved in with my older sister, uh, Carmen. Hold on. Let me yeah, another we'll get question. Into that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on. We'll do another question eat, on that. Eat your food. Then you have to eat it. <coughs> okay, go. Okay. Oh, How did you meet? There we go. Oh. It's pretty interesting. So, so I ended up moving in with, um, long story short, was I was neighbor. a bad boy, but before I was her neighbor, uh, one of my older sister, Carmen, much love to her, she took me in, uh, you know, to live with her, and that's how I met her. She was my neighbor. Right next door. Mm -hmm. Literally right next door. I could jump the fence. You probably I'm did. Being, uh, oh, yeah, I did a few times. <laughs> Afterwards, but I was a church girl, and um, I wasn't interested because... I was good and I I never um, lied to my parents or did anything like that. And my dad saw him trying to talk to me one time. He was trying to ask me for my number and I kept telling him, no, I'm not interested and no, you can't have my number. 
And my dad told me. Question. Oh. All right, I guess there's more questions. I said you can see who's interested first. Oh. Who was interested and who first? That was the next question. And then I'll tell you guys the rest of that story. I, I think know. he was interested in me first. Yeah, I was interested in her. Um, I actually had one of my uh, friends go and uh, knock at her uh, at, at, at her house and uh, ask her to come out, but she didn't want to. She refused and she was playing hard to get. Mm -mm. Yeah, I remember that day. Somebody came knocking at my friend door and they were like, Javier wants to um, you to come outside. I was like, who the heck is Javier? I didn't know who he was. And I said, mm-mm. And then I found out who he was and I knew him from the neighborhood and I had heard about him. He menos quise salir because I knew how bad he was and how, um, what a, um, Mujeriego he was and I was like, um, no, I'm good. So I said no. And so every time he saw me coming out, one time I was coming out of my house and getting in the car for church and my parents were in the car waiting for me and I was coming out and I was getting in the car and he came up to me like in front of my parents asking me like, okay, when are you gonna give me your number and all this stuff. And I told him like, I already told you, I'm not gonna give you my number and blah, 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 blah. And then, um. He was just insisting, like insisting and insisting that he wanted my number. And then I remember that day I got in the car and my um, parents were, my dad, he was like, I've I've never told you no, you could have all the boyfriend or any boyfriend you want. I've never said no to you. Like, um, you know, I've never stopped you from having a boyfriend, but that guy, te prohibo, I prohibit you from talking to that guy because everybody knew who he was. I was a sweet angel with a halo over my head. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next question. Who is older? Right here. He's older. I'm older. I'm 39. I'm 29. <laughs> Joking, I'm 41. He's 41. See, I'm old. Huh? <laughs> you are. He turns 42 in June 21st. Okay. Well, I still got hair, so that's a good thing. Who is more sensitive? Mm -hmm. Hey, Ann. Mm -hmm. I have to answer that. <laughs> okay, well, then <laughs> answer it. You just, she can just edit that out. Here, you, uh... Mm. I think, um... He's a drama queen. Mm. I think I'm sensitive, but he's more sensitive than me. He takes everything so, like, at heart. Says you like, too. I, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she wins. <laughs> he does. He's definitely a No comment. He's sensitive. Okay. Well, I mean, come on now. I live with five women, so I was raised with no sisters. So you were sensitive even or drama queen before, before the girls even came into the picture. <laughs> yeah, she says. <laughs> Who is loudest? Um, he is. Loudest? We're both loud? I'm loud too? I can be loud. I'm um a little more shy than he is, but once I got a confianza, I'm not a quiet person. Yeah, she's always screaming at you guys. But you can't whisper though. That's the thing. Yeah, I can't you whisper. can't whisper. You're trying to act like you're whispering and you you're just hella like... loud. But I mean like loud when it comes to like at a, like my parent, my family or whatever, I'm like the loud one, and they're like, "Hey, <laughs> she is like that." She's. But so if loud. I'm somewhere where I don't know people, then I'll be like the quiet one, because I'm True. I'm kind of like shy, and he's not. So. Okay. I mean, I'm the loudest. Dang, I keep saying like that today. Who is the funniest? Mm. Uh, the girls can answer that one. I don't know. I think I we're think both I funny. Am. Daddy. Uh -huh. He no. thinks he's funny. He's annoying. I'm funny. funny. He thinks he's funny. <laughs> I am funny. I'm, I'm the life of the party. Without so me. I. So am I. No. <laughs> I don't know. No? Mm -mm. No, you are. When you want it. When you choose to be. Okay. 
Okay, next question. Who is more soluble or soluble? Who's what? What's so that? Bon. What does that word say? Sociable. Oh. Sordo? Sordo? She like is. <laughs> She's sorda. No, I think I, I, I am. I don't listen. No, it says, who is more sociable? Because he had put like a W. So I, was like, mm. I am, for sure. Mm -hmm. I can, I can make a conversation with a stranger at the grocery store, wherever we go. That's me. That's how I feed my energy mm -hmm. through socializing yeah. with people. Yes. So were you told us today? We go to the grocery store and he's like, I have four teenagers and they like to eat a lot and blah, 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 blah. And just starts a whole conversation with the cashier, the person in front of us, the person behind us, the person at the next register. And I'm just like, can we get out of here? Okay. Who is more stubborn? Ouch. Daddy. I'll admit that. Yes. Yeah. I'm more like, I think I'm a little bit more laid back and I'm, and I can be stubborn at times, but I give in real easy. And you're like, once you say, or you're stuck on something, I think you're stuck on that. And you're, you don't, um, yeah. I'm stubborn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who wakes up first, daddy? I'm not a morning person, guys. So, uh, me and, her, me and my uh, wife, we carpool together. So, you know, I, I follow the same routine Monday through Friday. I like taking showers in the morning. When I get out the shower, she's still laying in bed. Mm -hmm. She's still laying in bed. And, and on the weekends, I like getting up early, you know, getting things done. And she gets mad at me. And so do my daughters. I say I make a lot of noise. and But it's just... She doesn't know how to just get up. She wants to sleep in until like 1, 2, 2 p.m. I don't have babies anymore. Let me sleep in until um, whatever uh, I want. As long as you get get six, seven hours, we're straight. I like to get my sleep. Who stays up late? Well, okay, so like... He what? thinks he stayed up, but he already yeah. has been sleeping for okay. like two hours. So it's what uh he closes his eyes... Yeah, that's what. When my dad just lays down he stays, and, and he says eyes. that he wants us to uh, watch something, but he's snoring. Yeah. Well, half the time he's already snoring, and but I but the, not even watching the movie. There is one uh, place that I don't, and that's when me and her used to, you know be, before this quarantine lockdown, we used to go to the movies at least once or twice a week, and at the movies I don't. Yeah, he doesn't uh, fall asleep at the movies, but if we're yeah. watching a show here. He'll be sleeping during He'll the show. He'll just close his eyes. And I think be because I'm, uh, you know, by the end of the day, out. I'm mentally drained. You know, uh, uh, a man, I mean, thinks about so many things and, and has to hold up the fort and, and, you know, do all these things. So I think by the and time so I lay don't. down. So yeah. I don't. When I'm the one that barely lays down after I get here and I have to cook and I have to do this and I have to do that. <laughs> yeah. <He's laughs> to have and an then mom, when he wakes up, he's like, did I fall asleep? Mm -hmm. And he's like, he'll be sleeping for like two hours and snoring. I'm talking about sleeping, snoring. And then he'll be like, oh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm falling. I think I'm falling asleep and I'm going to take a power nap. After he's already been sleeping for like two hours. Yeah, well, that's true. Okay. Who has the biggest family? Me. She does. I have six siblings. No, but in general, um, I only have... Uh, you have four. Yeah, I have four, but she didn't say siblings, biggest family. So when you want to talk about family, she, a lot of her family lives here in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. I, I only have a, a brother that stays here locally in Sacramento and uh, a sister, but... My immediate family, like my siblings and my parents, there's a lot of us here in Sacramento, so I have a big family. But... He has a big family too, but they just don't live here in Sacramento. But I love all of them, mine and his. I do too. Mm -hmm. Who's the better uh -huh. cook? Mm -hmm. Who's the better cook? She is, the only thing I- No, I think it's you. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, Crystal? This guy, he can't even cook an egg. I could cook an egg. Remember yeah, when we had to try it right now? Yeah. We're gonna need to challenge him to that. No, I I, I can't cook. 
<laughs> and the reason I choose not to learn or to, because I have an amazing cook here. I mean, look what I'm eating right now. I love to cook. She loves the kitchen. There's a lot of wives that cook because of necessity. She cooks because that's what she enjoys doing and loves doing. Because I love to get fat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gorditos, pero bonitos. Gorditos, pero nos queremos. ¿Así me quieres gordito, amor? Mm -hmm. okay. Who's smarter? Mm. I, I, think I think he is. Oh, did you why, why is he more uh, I, I think uh, I just let him handle most of the things. Five five washing five. dishes during our video. What's that? What's five times five? Twenty five. Mm. I'm not good at math at all. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Um, I think that I was never really good. At, I always got straight A's, but I never was really good at school, and he's really good at that. But I wasn't good in school though. I I I I, I chose. You're smart though. Oh, thank you. But and when I got with him, I just let him handle everything. I'm smart, but I'm el mental. Yeah, el mental. Next. Last question. Who's more outgoing? It's right here. I'm outgoing. Too. Oh, no, you are. Yeah, you I'm are. I'm an outgoing person. I think, I think that's no, part wait, of the. Wait, wait. I think I that's think part of the reason. Her, actually. I think that's part of the reason why we get along is because he's sociable and I'm a little bit more timid, but he he makes me and brings me out of my shell and I'm a little mm -hmm. bit more outgoing once I get in, like, um, once I come out of my shell, I'm a pretty outgoing person. And so I feel like um, we complement each other. Like when he's a little timid or he's a little bit more like, you know, like not wanting to come out, then I bring that out of him. We bring the best out of each other. I think. Yeah, I think I think uh, she's she's the more uh, she's the one that plans all our family trips, our vacations. Uh, For holidays, you know, I plan the holidays. games. I like to make everybody have fun. You know, if there's a holiday coming, you know, her siblings reach out to her. You know, what what should we do? So, I would say she's more outgoing, but I'm the more you know social. Like, yeah, he likes to talk and he likes to like meet new people, and I'm not really like that. Who's mm -hmm. more creative? I think I'm more creative. Yeah, she is. And who's more like, who's more like vacation, like you, both. you go like both. We love to go on vacation. Who's lazier? We, we, we don't ask for much. The only thing, what we love as a family is as long as we're near a beach, and and sun, that's all we ask for. We don't do, you know, we don't ask for, you know. The sausage is so good. The luxuries of life. I mean, we, we just enjoy it being around our daughters and, and near a beach. Who's the best at disciplining um, us? The best at disciplining our kids? I think we both do, but the person who disciplines the kids the most in this house, you would think it would be him, but it's actually me. Yeah. She's, ooh. Yeah, she's a, she's a tough one. And, and sometimes, you know, uh, as, as, as it's hard, you know, you know, raising a family. And sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll say something that she she disagrees with, or sometimes I'll tell her, you know, you're being too harsh on them, and and she'll say something like, uh, "Well, you need to stick with me. We need to work as a team because if you're telling them the opposite of what I am, they're not going to listen." So I agree with that, but I just think that there was, uh, a, t there was a time when we were in agreement. Yeah, we we're fighting a lot. We we're fighting because if I said no, he would go above me and say yes. That's true. And. We had to have a talk because, not in front of our kids, but we had to have a talk, me and him, because I feel like if you want to discipline and you want to be on the same page as your um, partner, you have to be on the same page as disciplining too. There can be a strict parent and a lenient parent. Even though one is always going to be stricter than the other, you guys both have to be on the same page. I feel like um, with him, he was strict, but... Then he 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 um, always gave in really fast, and I told him, if I'm this is what I always told him. I told him if I'm not strict with them, these girls are gonna be bigger than me, 
taller than me they and they're they are they are and i told them and they're going to be beating me up and running all over me so i know that i need to be the strict one yes i can be their friends and yes i can be friendly to them and loving them because i am more loving towards them you know like showing more affection with them but oh, excuse me but but i also have to be and show them who's in charge and that i'm um, show them that i am their mother and that there are rules that they have to follow and we had to come to an agreement that he had to back me up because if not they were gonna be like oh whatever you you don't count because my dad said you know my dad has my back yeah, but... and so as long as you're a partner and you are in a uh, an agreement and if you don't agree with it don't talk and don't argue about it in front of your kids do it behind closed doors because then your kids know that you guys are you know, fighting about that and they're gonna walk all over both of you. Who's, on who spends the most money? Mm. Your mom. Probably me. She says, so I'll answer that, she does. But, you know, uh, we both work. We work hard to to, to bring the food to this ta uh, table. We, we work hard to pay our mortgage. Uh, you know, I, I would say that sometimes, you know, we, you know, we wanna go shopping and there's things that, you know, that we want to purchase, but we always put our family first, and, mm -hmm. and that's 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 the most important thing that uh, really that shop. a family uh, can do. I'm is... not really a. So, um, if you liked our mukbang, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Um, we appreciate all of your support, right? We do. Um... The food was so good. I'm not even done eating. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna keep eating right now when we're done. <laughs> and. Um, Stay tuned for all of our videos. We're gonna try to keep bringing you guys content. I know that um, we're still getting the hang of this whole recording and um, you know, getting the lighting right, getting the camera angles right. And he's trying to help me out with that. Right. Doing it by myself is not easy. So we're all trying to do it as a family and we're gonna try to bring you guys more videos, especially right now that we're in uh, this whole city shutdown. So we're trying to bring more sh uh, fun videos for you guys because we know that I'm bored, you're bored. We're all trying to find things to watch and we have more time on our hands. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to uh, the Fernandez Treasures. Bye. Till next Peace. time. Peace. Ciao.